Did you just get another rejection email? Something like this. We won't be moving forward with your resume today. I know how you feel. I've seen this too many times. Today, let's talk about why you need to hang on. Getting that rejection email sucks. We can all agree on that. I've gotten hundreds of them. Here is the thing though. There's a reason why you didn't get that job. Either you were not qualified for it, or the timing was not right, or maybe you just weren't the right fit, cultural fit. There can be tons of reasons why. But let me ask you something. How are you going to handle this? Most people are gonna sit there and complain about how hard it is to get a job and waste their energy there. Then there's the other type of person. The one that just takes that failure and learns something from it. It's often not the fact that we failed that makes us a failure. It's instead our way that we react to the failure that actually makes us a failure. So if you're just gonna sit here and mope around and tell me how hard it is to get a job, how applying just sucks, and how you've reached out to people on LinkedIn and no one gets back to you, you're setting yourself up to be a failure, regardless of what I can do for you. But if you're the kind of person that takes a look at that failure and says, okay, why didn't I get this job? Maybe I didn't meet the qualifications. Maybe I said something wrong in the interview. Maybe my technical skills weren't that good. Maybe I need to work on my cultural questions. Maybe I need to care about learning more. Maybe I didn't just really show my value. And then take that reason why that you figured out and come up with concrete action steps in order to fix the weakness that the failure exploited. Then you will be successful in finding a job as a programmer. There's a limited number of rejection emails that you can get before the offers start to pour in. If you follow this method of learning from failure and becoming better by it. My challenge for all of you programmers that are struggling to find a job out there, because I was in your exact shoes, seek the failure. Seek the interview that rejects you and gives you feedback. The failure is telling you something. It's often telling you to improve those interview skills, improve the technical skills, or improve your behavioral skills, whatever they are. The failure is trying to tell you in the most obvious way, but 99% of you aren't listening. Once you've listened to it, think of some things that you can do that will improve your situation and fix that weakness that failure exploited for you. This way, the next time you go into the next interview, don't face the same problem again. And if you fail in that one, you improve and learn based off of what happened in that one. And you keep adding to your skill set. And eventually you'll be this person that is unstoppable and wanted by every company that you apply to. I promise you that the person who consistently shows up, listens to failure when it's speaking right to you and then adapts is the one that ends up winning in the end.